Hi. In this tutorial you will learn how easy it is to build dynamic, database-driven mobile apps using HTML5 data bindings and DMX Zone database connector. First, you need to set up a standard, static website in your Dreamweaver. We already defined a site and created a blank HTML file in it. We want to use this simple static website in order to build a mobile app using DMX Zone Cordova Builder. This is going to be a simple mobile app that displays a list of products from our database. Let's set up the data source for our page. We add a name for our data source. Select database source from the type drop down menu. You can choose whether to set up the database source in the current site definition or in another site defined in your Dreamweaver. As we are building a mobile app, we cannot set up the database connection in this static website. We need to create it in another site called Remote Data API website. The remote website will run on our server and the local static website will connect to it and get its data from there. You can use any of the sites that you have already defined in Dreamweaver, or you can define a new one. In this tutorial we will define a new, remote data, website. Select the Manage Websites button. The standard Dreamweaver, Site Manager window opens. We select the New Site button. Here, we add a site name. We select a local folder and set up the remote server settings, the same way as we usually do when defining a site in Dreamweaver. The remote site name is Remote Data API Site. You can close the Site Manager dialog when you are done defining your remote website. Now, we select our remote website in the Site drop down menu. Clicking the Define button, we will create the data source in the selected site. Let's set up a database connection. We enter the info required to connect to our database. Click the OK button when you are done with this. We want to display our products inside the mobile app that we are building, so we select the products table and add it to the query builder. We select the table columns that we want to use and add them into the selected fields list. We add a name for this database source and click the OK button. You can see the data source that we just created in our remote site. Let's create a simple repeat region containing the product's data on our static HTML file that is located into the local site. We expand the mobile app product's data source and we insert a repeat region on our static, local page. We fill the repeat region with the data that we need to display. Let's preview the results by running the page that is located in our local static website. You can see the product's data that comes from the remote website is being displayed on our HTML page. Now, using DMX Zone Cordova Builder, you can build a mobile app from your local static site that gets its dynamic data from a remote data API site. That's how easy it is to build dynamic, database-driven mobile apps using HTML5 data bindings and DMX Zone database connector. 